Thank you and welcome. Uh, I'm Simon Westwood. I am Panduit's technical systems engineer for electrical product in Europe. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about Panduit's short circuit protection and cable cleat offering, answering the question, are you fully protected? To start at the beginning, there's thought to be some ambiguity about what a cable cleat is. Just to be absolutely clear, there is no ambiguity. And forgive me while I read this. According to IEC 61914 2015, this is the latest version and the relevant specification for requirements and tests for cable cleats and intermediate restraints used for securing cable in electrical installations. The defin definition of a cable cleat is a device designed to secure cables when installed at intervals along the length of those cables. This definition, according to IEC, means that straps and ties are clearly included. I'll talk about this a bit more later. Okay, looking at this sample length of ladder rack, the function of ladder is to manage cable similar to cable tray. Using this, I will show and describe the Panduit offerings. Starting with the stainless steel trefoil cleat. Now, when I say trefoil, I'm referring to the cable arrangement. One cable on top of two. During a short circuit, the core of the cables will repel each other, forcing this cable to try and get as far away from the other two cables as possible. So this cable will travel in this direction, and these two will travel in this direction. Now, as you can see, this is what most engineers traditionally envisage when they think of a cable cleat. This solution is specifically designed for high fault levels. Its primary benefits are in its ease of installation. It can be installed after cable pulling or post pull fitting. The traditional method is to position the cleats on the rungs and then pull and insert those cables into the cleat. This solution allows for the cable to be pulled and then the cleats can be positioned after that cable pulling. The single bolt closure reduces installation time, which reduces man hours and leads to time savings and greater productivity. The insert allows for cable range taking capability and this allows for a more flexible solution and reduced stock levels. Panduit has also designed uh, a simply applied bracket for slot free rungs on ladder racks. You can sometimes get slots in the wrong orientation or wrong size slots or even unslotted or round runged ladder rack that bracket overcomes that issue. Next, we have the polymer cleats. Uh, these are designed for single cable use and they're designed for lower fault levels. Uh, they are UV and corrosion resistant as designated again by IEC 61914 2015, the relevant standard. As you can see, they're available in a one bolt or a two bolt design. They reduce weight compared to the stainless steel offering, if that is a consideration. They are also available in trefoil design, the one cable on top of two cable arrangement. Next, we have the aluminium solution. Here you see the two bolt and one bolt design, similar to the polymers. We position this solution as stronger than polymer, but below that, of a stainless steel cleat. Aluminium has a greater resistance properties to prolonged exposure to sunlight than polymers. In terms of weight saving, the trefoil aluminium cleat is lighter than the polymer equivalent, but the one and two hole polymer solutions are lighter than the aluminium equivalent. Weight is especially important in modular build in remote locations. 
Now then, here is the real game changer. Stainless steel strapping, or as we say at Panduit, MS strapping. These are fold-over straps made of stainless steel. And this is critical. Strapping is IEC 61914 2015 compliant. Sometimes manufacturers will state that the strapping loop tensile strength is a way of stressing their suitability for use in short circuit protection. They must be IEC 61914 2015 compliant. MS strapping is as strong as any traditional cleat. Now the benefits are manifold. So first of all, they're space saving. This is especially relevant in densely populated ladder racks. It takes up a smaller envelope of space. Sometimes the ladders are even closely stacked together, leaving little room to access the ladder for installers. They can also be applied using a bracket uh, for unslotted ladder. As before, if you have wrong size slots or they're unslotted rungs or round rungs, uh, it gives you that greater flexibility on install. They can accommodate single cable formation, trefoil formation, or even a quad formation. So it gives you greater flexibility from a single solution. In terms of the speed of installation of the MS strapping, typically we see a two to one installation ratio, greatly reducing the time taken to install the cleat. That's compared to traditional cleats. They have enormous range taking capability, allowing for greater flexibility and reduced part number count. And if site storage is an issue, if you think about the storage space required for a thousand traditional cleats, it would typically occupy in the region of three pallets or more. A thousand MS straps would take up less than one pallet. Once applied, it has a fully enclosed head. So some of the competitor product, when you install it, you need to fold over two wings on either side, which can lead to sharp cutoffs that are still exposed, which is a hazard to adjacent cables, but also hazard to maintenance workers. The way that the Panduit solution works is it folds over and then a bridge fully encloses that sharp cutoff. So there are no sharp cutoffs and this is especially a health and safety consideration. MS strapping is available as a single, double, or even a triple loop solution for additional strength. Now down here, we have an example of a double wrap MLT, which is a stainless steel ball locking tie, which we refer to as MLTs. This product addresses some lower fault levels. And when I say lower, I'm talking about 77 kiloamp peak using 38 millimeter cable. This has an even speedier installation than MS strapping. It's loop tension cut. And I'll say that again in a bit. It has a completely flush cutoff, so there are no exposed sharp edges. The installation tooling requires an even smaller envelope of space than the MS strapping. The installation method for MS strapping is loop, tension, fold, then cut, then fold over and secure. The installation method for MLT ball locking ties is loop, tension and cut. The tooling is either manual or battery powered and the battery powered version of the tool requires only a trigger pull until the tool reaches a predetermined tension and it cuts flush automatically. The actual cut takes place outside of the head, but due to the ball locking mechanism, the tail of the tie retreats back inside the head, leaving a completely flush cut off, which again gives you added health and safety and prevents damage to adjacent cables. It shares all the benefits of MS strapping, Space saving, it's available for use with or without a bracket, and you can see the bracket on the back there. It's range taking for reduced stock levels or part number count. And you can use it 
for single, trefoil, or even quad formation, giving you that additional flexibility. It's beneficial for weight saving, if this is a factor. And again, I'll talk about site storage, the space required to store a thousand traditional cleats, probably three pallets, the space required to store a thousand stainless steel ties is probably less than one pallet. In terms of comparative cost, at the higher end of the range, we have the stainless steel solution, then the aluminium, then the polymer, then MS strapping, and at the lower end of the range is the MLT ball locking ties. So, depending on what your installation requires in terms of fault level, in terms of cable formation, or in terms of ladder type, Panduit has a solution or choice of solutions for you. Panduit has also designed a cleat calculator. So based upon your peak current requirements and your cable diameter, it will calculate the forces, it will calculate the required spacing between fixation points, and the relevant size of the cleat to accommodate your cable. It also gives you a range of choices to best suit your requirements, whether it's a stainless steel trefoil cleat, aluminium, polymer, MS strapping, or MLT ball locking ties. It's available as a cleat calculator on a smartphone app or as a desktop version. And on the Panduit website, there is that cleat calculator, there are technical data sheets, and there is the Panduit cleat catalog. So, in summary, to the question, are you fully protected against the risk of short circuit? Number one, choose Panduit. And number two, make sure you comply with IEC 61914, the 2015 version. A couple of typical questions that we receive are, how are we so sure that the solutions work? Well, there are three ways. Firstly, there is a mathematical calculation. Secondly, Panduit has developed some award-winning software to simulate short circuit events. And it simulates not just the electromagnetic forces, but also the direction of travel of the cable and can even accurately predict any damage to the cable at the precise point of damage. Finally, we conduct extensive third-party testing at an approved test house. We're also sometimes asked, how can you be sure that the edges of the steel straps and ties won't cut into the cable? Here we have two reasons again. Firstly, all Panduit stainless steel ties and MS strapping come with what is referred to as a number one grade rounded edge. It is totally rounded. There are no sharp edges on it whatsoever. You can pull your fingers down the side of it and it will not cut your fingers. Secondly, as you can see here, Panduit offers cushion sleeving. In this case, it's a halogen-free version of that cushion sleeving. Okay, so thank you for your time and attention. Please hang around for the round table in about 20 minutes on the independent view on short circuit protection in industrial and data center environments. Thank you.